what's up everyone yeah, it's a bar here and today i want to bring you about a kca academy that is korea science academy of christ uh, which is a, a scholarship for high schoolers if you want to join high school in south korea on a scholarship which is fully funded this uh, ksa will uh, will be a good option for you i've uh, been looking for high school scholarship but uh, so far be uh, gotten this one and i will keep updating if i get more this is basically for those people who want to do math and science so if you are best in math and science remember this is a good uh, opportunity for you and uh thank you guys i've seen you have been uh, supporting me through liking commenting, and subscribing and remember the more you like you comment and also yeah uh, you will be pushing my video to many viewers and you are helping your brother or sister somewhere yeah all your support i don't take take it for granted thank you uh shall we start and before doing that remember to grab something and watch this video till the end to gain uh, more insight on this kca uh, scholarship so uh for those who have been asking about high school uh, scholarship this is this is it and uh let's get started on eligibility we have a foreign national middle school student graduate or those with equivalent ed educational background are eligible to apply i don't think the graduate part should be there because this is for those people who want to join high school in this university and um, maybe i don't know if this graduate who can read high school anyway i don't know applicants are with foreign citizenship and african world korean citizenship are not eligible to apply and there is also some exam requirement for those who international applicants like neither of applicants parent is a korean citizen for applicants of korean origin he or she must be have received you know that process and uh, there is a note there which means that um, not that international school located in Korea not acknowledged as foreign school and those who have, uh, have completed middle school in Korea can are welcome to apply KSA. Uh, I have not read all that information because I know you all qualify for these uh, eligibility. Uh, let's go to number two, which is the number of students selected are actually 15 and uh yeah 15 from all countries they don't specify i think they haven't specified which countries and uh the other thing is uh, application timeline uh we have application windows open on uh, january 8 2024 and application deadline uh february 16 2024 which is the application has already passed so we expect the next uh, on next year the application will be open at the same time which is january 8 2025 february 16 2025 so i'm i'm uh, releasing this video to for you to know there's this ksa and you can prepare yourself to apply next year if you're about to finish your middle school yeah this is just a preparation for you and the, they have like a stage one where you have a written test in mathematics that is mathematic test and we have a announcement of first stage results for those who have passed the test and uh, there is online submission of document if you passed and the second stage you have oral interviews and um, test is also conducted and then admission and announcement is done by may 20th Please note that the schedule may change and also some make sure you submit uh, by deadline stated that is 5 p.m. Korean Standard Time. And uh, due to time consuming for this application, make sure you, you at least finish the application one week prior the deadline. If you see, if you have been following me on a scholarship journey, you can see how Korea... Uh, put them things in order for application let's go to the list of required documents we have application form passport or national id copy of applicants and parents 
a certificate of fact that is for Korean personal statement is needed one recommendation letter maybe from your teacher science math or all those teachers in relation with math and science <laughs> and uh, official academic record notarized in english and uh, honors and awards if you have them maybe you have went to a math contest or something contest you have given award please incorporate it while you are applying we have junior high school enrollment that is certificate or graduation certificate we have academic record being notarized i think from now you know the list of documents you you are required on your side and if you get stuck along the way you make sure you have someone to help you your parents your teachers your elderly brothers or yeah it's, it's good for you application document details is application form you have to finish it online through this website passport or national id copy as i've said make sure the official document in your country like the one verifies you in that country you submit them and uh, the other thing certificate of fact on learning entry and exit that is for koreans i will skip that right and uh, we go to personal statement where there is a complete application online yeah you, you also complete it uh, to that website is one recommendation letter you can get it from your teacher from your mother and science and all that yeah you can ask your teachers to write for you a good letter and we have official academic record should be notarized and translated in english if they're in your local language yeah make sure they are in english for to make it easy for the admin team to understand your scores and, and all that and honors and award as i've explained in case you have you have received the award or during your your level middle school in your in our case we call it primary school yeah you can submit it here and uh, i think that's all concerning uh application document let's see what they do uh with respect to selection process okay <music>is what they consider when you are uh, for you to be a successful candidate they check on uh, math and science performance they also check your potential interpersonal skills personal accomplishment integrity and leadership you should uh, put that on mind and we have uh, that first stage uh, first stage of a written test uh, which include mathematics it's conducted online through a zoom make sure you have those uh, needed uh, you know uh, setup like uh, online testing you have to check it out through maybe stable network environment computer monitor webcam mobile make sure you you are familiarized on on those things uh, you can be assisted by your parents or teachers or someone who is helping you and uh yeah make sure you just familiarize if you have any question regarding that you can ask me i will uh, able to help you on how you can do it and uh, document review and interview are done on the second stage if you have passed the first stage which is that a test of mathematics you now you go to that review and interview and if you pass now you go to pre-enrollment education this is important to those people once uh, you get this uh, scholarship you have to study mathematics science english and korean before starting your high school education it's important it's mandatory if you happen to get this scholarship make sure you participate uh, 
uh yeah it's it's good for you you go on a financial aid uh, where what do they provide actually what do ksa provide uh, uh, for those scholars well, they they cover the tuition fee overseas uh, training creative research leadership activity high school research international academy international science uh, fair participation fee they also have like other expenses like a room and board exit program like korean cut experiences healthy holiday programs uh, pre-enrollment programs national health insurance of korea uh that is they also cover that or uh, yeah once you come it's like you are boarding you are going to a high school and everything is being paid you hit there you sleep there and all that uh yeah that is once what they do and i guess if you want maybe to go visit your parents that is will be on you right and there's another note here where like uh, in case if you are you have an outstanding academic performance you receive extra privilege yeah in korea they fancy performance so make sure once you get this K kss scholarship you do your best and i know i believe you you can do the best you know yeah and uh the provision above may, may be may change with respect to school policy so yeah you next year we have to review to check if there's something which i've checked this is just an overview to make you know what is happening personal expenses despite they are covering this this is what you should also bear in mind you should pay for yourself we have flights we have school uniform you pay for yourself test books resident card medical check and uh, vaccination that is on you you have to cover for yourself they will not cover for you yeah not on that one on assistant area i don't want you to come here to to suffer and you know all these things so these things your parents should cover should cater for it okay yeah and uh, there's important notes here when, when you are applying for this scholarship uh, make sure you check uh, the your document you are submitting is well structured you submit the right thing uh, because they you know it's very developed so in case you submit fake thing they will be able to not or your forged thing will be they will be able to detect and your scholarship will be cancelled make sure you submit right thing all right and you'll be good to go if you submit right thing you're good to go you get your scholarship okay and the other thing is uh make sure you keep checking on the uh, the website in case uh, for the my final status if you have been uh, selected uh, another thing is um make sure if your document are, are not in english you translate them in english and you notarize them yeah important not you can still go through them i'm just giving overview and you get more insight from it uh, there's a conducting team here this is the their details address telephone fax email and I emphasize, make sure, make use of this email. Yeah, ask them those questions you also want to ask me. You get uh, good, like you have a heavy information from them, you know. Yeah, because they are there for you and they are waiting for you to ask them. They will respond to you and uh, as soon as possible. So don't get stuck. Don't crack your mind and someone is there to help you. That is always, that is what i usually emphasize to the scholars who are applying scholarship and i hope from here uh you know what is about ksa uh what it entails those people who can apply for these uh, scholarship uh you know it fancies those people who are doing math and science and i hope you have gained something you have benefited share with your brothers like comment subscribe and that's how we grow I hope uh, I hope I've I've elaborated well. You can understand what is happening. Yeah, and this F A and Q where you can see people who are what they have asked in this site, and they are uh, and they are the answers are also provided. I know you got answers. 
I no, I know you got questions. So those questions will be answered here. So check what others have asked. Maybe you may not ask that question because it's already responded here. I don't have much to say now. I think everything is clear and straightforward. I hope to see you one day in Korea. I hope you are doing fine wherever you are. And see you on another trip. Bye for now.